what is going on you guys welcome back to the channel today i'm gonna be bringing you something a little bit different today i want to do something that i think we all like to do from time to time we're gonna be hopping on facebook marketplace and looking for some used miatas seeing what's out there seeing if there's any good deals out there i'll also be giving you guys some of my tips some of the things that i like to do when i'm using facebook marketplace to look for used cars so let's just go ahead and get right into it and see what we can find so I'm going to go up here and type in Miata. All right, right off the bat, this first one that pops out to me is this $2,000 Miata right here. Doesn't look too bad from the outside. It is wrapped, so there's no telling what the paint underneath is like. Usually people don't wrap over good paint, so it could be terrible. But for now, it looks pretty decent. It says it runs but needs a head gasket. This guy's looking for $2,000, needs a head gasket. I don't think so. I'd maybe give you like a thousand bucks. Like I said, it looks decent, but I mean, you can get a running Miata for 2000. So one of the first things I like to do when I'm looking is just go ahead and type in the car you're looking for. I like to keep it broad and just see what all comes up, filter through all these initially, see if there's anything that comes up that looks good. A little bit later, I'll get into how you can refine these searches a bit and some of the specific things you need to look for when you're using Facebook Marketplace. Let's take a look at this here. So this is something I just actually learned recently, and it's something I touched on briefly in the Miata Buyer's Guide video. And I knew this, but I never really made the connection for whatever reason. So the this is a 97M edition. All the M editions had specific colors depending on what year it was. So these 97s particularly came in this marina green. And for some reason, I always thought that this was the same green as the 9091 BRG. They're actually two different paint colors this one is metallic the brg is more it's pretty much just a straight green there's no metallic in it i personally really like the way this marina green on the 97ms looks better than brg in my opinion but for this car specifically i think this is a pretty dope deal it's a 97 it looks clean it's an m edition so these are a bit more rare it only has 152,000 miles on it, which is not bad. It looks pretty clean overall. I don't really care for the halo headlights, but that's easy to fix. It already has good coilovers on it, and they're looking for 5,500, which I think is perfectly fair. This is a bit more on the higher end of the price range for Miatas, but considering this is an M edition and it's really clean, I think this is really fair. This is a good deal. And here, just to show you the difference, this is a 91 BRG. He's saying this is number 1482 out of 4,000 that were made. It's only got 40,000 miles on it. It looks very clean inside and out. Here you might be able to see that paint is a little bit different. He's asking 8,500 and considering the condition and the rarity of this car, you can pretty much ask whatever you want. I mean, whether or not he'll actually get 8,500, I don't know, but it, he, I'm sure he's gonna get at least seven for it. And since I never really went into a whole lot of detail in my other video, on the special editions, we can go ahead and cover some of these things here since we have a couple special editions up on Marketplace right now. You can see the special wood grain Nardi shift knob and e-brake handle. BRG also has these special sill plates. They were all British Racing Green exterior with tan interior. And as it is a 91, it is a 1.6 with 1.6 interior. Personally, I prefer the 1.6 interior to the 1.8. You'll see the door cards are slightly different. They have a skinnier upper pad than the 1.8 does. The center console tombstone and gauge hood are also slightly different as the dash is different. But yeah, this is a sweet car for sure if you have the money. Another thing you wanna look out for is by default, I'm pretty sure Facebook Marketplace defaults to automatic transmission. Now if the seller does not change that, it might show automatic transmission when it's actually a manual. Most Miatas are manuals. It's a lot less common to find an automatic. Now this one actually is, but if you're looking and you see a car that you like, but it says automatic, make sure you look through those pictures and it might actually be a manual. Finding a lot of high dollar Miatas today. I haven't really seen anything that is cheap. This guy's asking 89, which is more than that BRG we just looked at. 
It's got more miles, even though they still are low. The 94, so it's the first year, the 1.8. Looks like it's in pretty good condition. It's pretty clean. It looks like he's got a little bit of stuff done. Okay, right here. Last year, accident, salvage title, replaced driver's fender door, inner tire rods, outer tire rods, and front sway bar. See, that's not bad. But the fact that this has a savage title and this guy wants 89, he's crazy. Absolutely no way. I mean, it's clean. I mean, I'm sure there's nothing actually wrong with the car, but there's no way you're getting that much money. You're gonna have a savage title. It's gonna be harder to register. In my opinion, this is worth maybe five grand. Not saying it's a bad car, but for the price, there's absolutely no way. Especially considering that BRG we just looked at for 8,500. Again with the special editions. Here we've got a 2000 NB special edition. Now if you look here on this Jalopnik article, you can see there were only 3000 of these made and they came in mahogany mica in the year 2000. Again, it has the Nardi wheel shift knob and handbrake. Pretty cool. You don't usually see this many special editions all up at once. This one has a hard top. It's only got 62,000 miles. This is really clean. This is a really cool car. It's got the light tan interior. I actually really like the way this looks against the red. This is a sweet car to pick up if you got the money. Maybe talk them down a little bit. The paint doesn't look super clean, but it doesn't look too bad either. These came with a six speed manual and the optional automatic. Yeah, this is pretty sweet. Honestly, I would, I would consider picking this up if I had the money for sure. All right, here we go. This is a good example that says automatic transmission. Scroll through these pictures. It's a manual. This is the first reasonably priced Miata I've seen today. It's a 91, they're asking 2,500. It says it has an LSD, so that's pretty sweet. Missing the center console, that's not too big a deal though. It has power windows, that's not where that switch is supposed to go, but it is missing the center console. It doesn't say how many miles are on it. This looks like it's in decent shape though. This is one that I would go see in person. And if it's decent, this could definitely be a good pickup. You could probably get this for about 2300. I think this would be a good deal if it's in good shape. Looks pretty clean on the outside. Paint's all there. It's not chipping or fading or anything like that. This will clean up pretty nice. Here's a 90, I believe it's Mariner Blue. 220,000 miles, kinda high. Not insane, but kinda high. Looks like it's in okay condition. Missing the tombstone. It does have a factory radio though which you probably wouldn't want anyways. It is just kind of cool to see the factory radio though. 3,500 is a little high, I think. I would start negotiating probably around 2,500 for this thing. It does have a new top though with the glass window. That's kind of nice. I would be changing out this steering wheel immediately if it was me. What else can we find? I think this thing right here is pretty sweet. I think this could be a really sweet daily with just a little bit of work. It's a 99 NB with 177,000 miles. That's not too bad at all. Interior looks clean enough. The seats are torn up a little bit. It already has coilovers, but it looks like everything else is pretty much left alone. I'd probably just change out these wheels. You could clean this thing up pretty easily. It says he's looking for trades, but I think if you could get this thing for around $3,000, I think this could be a sweet daily pretty easily. This thing would be really sweet if it wasn't an automatic. 2001 NB, this is a really cool color. It already has 949 racing wheels. Looks like it has some good tires on it as well. 205 50 15, this is the go-to Miata size. Not too many miles. I mean it is, but for a Miata it's really not. But yeah, that automatic. This thing's kind of cool if you don't mind buying a car that already has a lot of mods done to it. It's got the same wheels that are on my car. It's got a CX racing turbo kit. The exterior looks pretty clean. It's a pretty good looking car overall, to be honest. Already got a hard dog double diagonal roll bar. You could literally just buy this thing and have a pretty sweet car already. 5,000 for what's done to this thing. I think that's pretty fair. Seems like a lot of people have good luck with the CX Racing Turbo Kit. And being that this is already installed, that's gonna help you a lot because that's where people have their issues is with fitment on the Turbo Kit, like the intercooler piping, the manifold, stuff like that. And it is a cheaper turbo but this would definitely be a fun car to get started with, especially being that it is already done and running and driving as long as it runs and drives well. The 1.6, but it does have a 1.8 diff. That's definitely something you're gonna want if you're turbo. Not bad for five grand. So again, like we saw in my Miata Buyer's Guide video, there's always a ton of Miatas out there for sale. There's always a great range like we've seen today in price and condition. Really cool thing we saw today was all these special editions that are up right now. Those are always really cool to see. Real quick before we go, I was gonna go ahead and share some of my tips for using Facebook Marketplace to find a used car. And it looks like they actually just changed this recently. What I like to do is go in here to your location and make sure it is on 
the highest depending on how far you are willing to drive and if you are looking for a car that is a bit harder to find you might want to do this so say you're looking for a miata for example you're going to be scrolling and then you're going to get to here where it says results from outside your search these are going to be ones that are a bit farther i always like to scroll through these as well because there might be something in a state that's next to you it's not too far of a drive that you might be willing to make if it is the right car so i always do this another thing you can do is they do have the transmission type listed here but i always like to keep this on all just because of that thing that we mentioned earlier where people will list it as an automatic even though it might actually be a manual so you don't want to miss out on those cars I would recommend keeping this on all. And then of course, obviously, if you wanna try and filter this down some more, you can put in your max price range and this might actually help you narrow it down some more. And here actually is a good example. I didn't even notice this car before. It says automatic, but we can see that it is a manual. It has tying coilovers, that's not bad. It looks like it's in decent shape. I would probably change these seats out personally. Kind of cool uh, dual exhaust there. This could be a decent car. So definitely use all these tools to help filter the cars down if you don't find what you're looking for in your initial search. Because like I said, there are a lot of Miatas out there for sale, so you might miss some of them sometimes. And gonna be my last tip for you guys today. If you are mechanically inclined and you're not looking for anything in particular, but maybe a nice car to buy, fix up, and flip, or you just like to look occasionally like we do to see if there's any good cheap deals out there that could be something cool to pick up and it could be, turn into a fun project. Something that I like to do is come in here and use a couple search terms like need gone. You can definitely find some interesting cars with this search term. Usually this is going to be stuff that is cheap, that needs some sort of work. There's something wrong with it. It's not running but you could potentially fix that up pretty easily if you know what you're doing and make a profit or just pick up a cool cheap car and it could be a new project. You'll probably also find a lot of stuff that is wrecked when you use this search term, but if you know what you're doing with bodywork, that's another thing you could do to get a cheap car and fix it up. But that is pretty much gonna do it for me on this one, you guys. Hope you enjoyed this. Hope you could learn some more from it. Like I said, I did do that ultimate Miata buyer's guide video that I referenced a couple of times in this video. That will be linked above and below in the description. As always, let me know if you have any other questions on tips for buying a Miata. I'm always happy to answer them. Or if you want to send me some cars that you're potentially looking at and see what I think about them, I'd be happy to give my thoughts. So yeah, like I said, this is just something that we like to do from time to time. It's always fun to hop on Facebook Marketplace and see what's out there, see if there's any potentially good deals or could be new projects. I just recently ordered a few new parts for the Miata, so we're going to have some of those good old part install videos coming back to the channel very soon on the Miata, so look out for those. We're about to really start ramping up on this interior project on the Miata. But for now, that is going to do it for me on this one. Again, thank you very much for watching. Have an awesome week, and we will see you in the next one.